guys welcome to another form titan 101 video and in this video i'm going to show you how to do how to use your form and generate a dynamic pdf and attach it to files object in salesforce and this is where things get really interesting because you no longer have to rely on auto pdf or a basic pdf you can have a custom pdf with dynamic data flowing through it let's get started let me show you how to do that so to set up a PDF, we'll go to Document Generation and click the PDF Mapping option. Once you've done that, we will click Dynamic Mode. This is what our basic PDF looked like right here, but we don't want to use that anymore. We'll go, do you know what? I want to use Dynamic Mode and we'll click Enable. And in Dynamic Mode, you can use HTML and CSS if you wish. I've got, this is the source code. I've got one already prepared, so I'm going to paste it in there right here and I'm going to click apply and look it's brought back my HTML details um, into this dynamic PDF in straight from the source code um, how do we map fields so I'm going to show you how to do that right now so let's go ahead and insert field and we are going to say our first name will be first name click apply here our last name is going to be last name here let's insert email the mobile okay so now we've done that let's quickly see we can make this size 14 too. All done. And let's insert a final field. Okay, let's go ahead and do that now. And that one is going to be signature. And we're going to say that can be 200 by 200 I think 300 should be fine let's do 300 by 300 click apply okay that's our P dynamic PDF ready click apply save um, wait before we do that I have to go and set up a push to make sure that the data goes into the right place so we'll go and our push here we'll add our object it's going to be contact uh, create map fields it's going to be first name see first name goes here last name goes here and so let's do that again so we've got first name here last name here let's add our email let's add a mobile and that's it click apply and that's our Salesforce mapping done now we have to do our files mapping so to do that we'll go to a content version and map fields uh, our title is going to be custom and let's call it uh, dynamic reg form click apply and our content um, so our version data is going to be our PDF mapping click apply and finish that's all good to go now let's go and test and see what's happened here so click Joe blogs you know, at form titan.com give a random number and let's give them a random signature click submit okay so now what it should have done it should have created the record for us as well as pulled in the data to our dynamic fields so let's go and check this out check our integration log there you go it's created it let's go to our contact okay got Joe blogs there's our reg form and there you go. It's 
there's our dynamic PDF pulled in with our signatures, name, um, first name, last name, email, and mobile. That's how simple it is to create a dynamic PDF and have it come through to your files object. Um, really, it's, it's, it's that simple. And the ability and the functionality that PDF gives you, dynamic PDF gives you, is unlimited. You can just about do anything you want with it. You can add products from opportunities. Um, you can just add as much source code as you wish to make it as dynamic as possible. Thank you for watching this video.